Hey, it's Jordan, Millionaire Millennial. In this video, I want to address every kind of question that I get about brand gating and category gating. Now, I know a lot of people are really upset about gating and brand gates, and I get a lot of emails all the time saying, I found this really good product, but Amazon won't let me sell it because I'm gated. And I know that a lot of people are really upset about it, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I think it's one of the best things that Amazon's done for the third-party sellers because it reduces competition a ton. It really helps the third-party sellers that are legitimate, that are taking this seriously, that are building this as a business, because now they have way less competition. So I know that a lot of new sellers that are coming to the platform are being hit with brand gates and category gates and you can't sell, you're not authorized to sell this product, blah, blah, blah. To explain what Amazon's doing here and why they're being jerks about this, we need to go back to about a year ago when this whole issue started. So a little over a year ago, Amazon started having a huge problem with a ton of sellers either making counterfeit goods or not even fulfilling orders at all. So we'd have these new sellers come in and they'd sell a ton of products on these brand names like Apple iPhone, Samsung, Nike, you know, Beats, all, all sorts of different name brand stuff. They would list their products merchant fulfilled, so they never actually sent any inventory into the warehouses. So they were merchant fulfilling them and they said it would take four to six weeks for their product to get there. So you probably already see where this is going. They would sell a ton of products because they would list it at like half of the normal price. And if you're thinking that's too good to be true, that's because it is. And they would just sell a ton of stuff. And then when it came time for them to ship the products, they would disappear and they would take all the money that they had made up to that point. So sellers were coming on making hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars on these different brand name products and not actually fulfilling any orders or they were sending the customers counterfeit goods. And the counterfeiting was rampant, especially in brands like Nike. In fact, if you go to a couple listings for Nike shoes and you go back to like a year or two ago, you'll see there's a lot of reviews saying that these are fake, these are counterfeit, these aren't legitimate Nikes. And that was a huge problem Amazon was having. So in order to keep up customer trust, stop losing a ton of money and not get sued by all the brands that were being sold, they had to come up with a really good idea in order to get rid of this problem. So initially they just started gating absolutely everything. They gated every brand that I can think of and they also required you to pay $1,000 just to get ungated. So you'd have to supply an invoice and you'd have to supply a letter of recommendation and a thousand dollars just to get ungated in one brand so you'd have to do that for every brand that you wanted to sell and as you can imagine the sellers at that point were outraged and i was one of those people that was also very outraged at this and they pushed back really hard against amazon and amazon said okay you guys are right all the legitimate sellers are paying the price for all these illegitimate sellers so let's make it fair what they ended up doing is they removed that thousand dollars so now you don't have to actually pay amazon any money to get ungated in a brand, but you do have to supply an invoice from a legitimate distributor. But what's also really cool is you can get what's called auto ungated. And that is basically when you just apply to list a brand and Amazon says, based on your metrics, we're gonna let you sell this brand. And how that works is they want to make sure that you're a legitimate seller. They wanna make sure you're not selling counterfeits. When you first make your account, you're kind of in a probationary period where Amazon's watching you. They're seeing what you're selling. And if you continue to sell a decent amount, I'd say maybe like 100 units a month of you know just different products that aren't gated, and you've got a solid five-star feedback rating from all the customers that you've delivered to, then Amazon will say, okay, you're a legitimate seller. You're not trying to scam people. You're here actually you know, delivering real products to customers. We're gonna let you sell all these other brands. And then you can start getting auto-gated. And that's what I've seen from myself and a lot of my students and a lot of other people in all these different groups are getting auto ungated after they've been selling for, you know, usually like three or four months. They've got solid five star feedback. When I say five star, I mean five star, not four and a half, but five star feedback. Now, there are a few brands that you won't be able to get auto ungated. Big, big brands like Disney, Mattel, Hasbro, Fisher Price. Those are brands that you're not going to be able to get auto ungated in. You actually will have to buy from a distributor or get a letter of recommendation from the brand owner. The easiest route is to buy from a distributor or wholesaler directly, and you only need to buy 10 units 
of the brand. All right, that's exactly what it says. When you go to get ungated in a brand, it'll say an invoice that's to you, dated in the last 180 days, that has 10 or more items of this brand. That's all you need to do. And then Amazon will check that and they'll say, okay, this is legitimate. They might even contact the distributor. And that's why I don't like these ungating services because they are making fake invoices to get you ungated. And they're charging you a ton of money for it. You can get ungated in most brands for less than $100 because you just buy 10 units of a product and that's really all you need to do. Now, I know you're already asking, well, where do I find legitimate distributors and blah, 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 blah. Well, there's a lot of different distributors. If you want to get ungated in a brand, literally Google Disney distributor in United States or in United Kingdom or whatever country you're in and go through the Google search results, find a distributor, contact them, say you wanna make an order and then place an order from them. Now I know some distributors have minimum order quantities but a lot of middlemen distributors actually don't. So you should be able to buy 10 units of a certain brand. What's really nice is if you can find a distributor that sells a lot of different brands so you can actually ungate using just one invoice. That's, that's the ideal. And category gating is the same thing. Amazon doesn't want illegitimate sellers or people that are maliciously selling on the platform to be able to sell food or you know things that you apply to your skin or certain mechanical parts that could be dangerous if they were fake or counterfeit or just not made well. So that's why Amazon has gated a lot of those categories like grocery and topicals and, and beauty and other products like that because they don't wanna take the risk that an illegitimate seller is gonna come on the platform and sell a bunch of fake or cheaply made or just you know total bogus products. So the whole purpose of gating is to protect Amazon from getting sued by its customers as well as getting sued by brand owners. And it also helps us third party sellers by getting rid of all of those sellers that are maliciously trying to sell on the Amazon platform. So I hope that clears up a lot of the stuff about brand gating and category gating and all the different questions that I've heard. If there's still something you don't understand or you still have questions, feel free to drop a comment below this video and I'll be happy to answer it. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.